Droid. McQueen. Droid. McQueen. Droid. McQueen. Droid. How's it going YouTube? It's me the Cool Loser and today's video is going to be on a custom ROM called Foxhound on the version 0.8. But get this, I'm still running TouchWiz, the stock version. We are on the 4.2.2 kernel version. Here's all this goodies. So first things first, always, once you're rooted, make a backup of your current ROM. Like right now, since I'm rooted, I've already done the whole ROMing, and I reverted back to this backup, and it took like 25 minutes to completely revert back to this backup because it's like a 3 gigabyte ROM backup that I had to do. Now, Foxhound is going to be like around 1.6 gigabytes instead of the 3.6, and the reason why it's smaller is because you get rid of all that bloatware that you probably won't ever use. There's a few ways to back up your whole entire system, and I use ROM Manager. So when I'm a ROM Manager, I always do the recovery setup. I click onto it and I go to Clockwork Recovery and I update that service there. And if we scroll down here, you see that it says Manage and Restore Your Backups or Backup Current ROM. This is where you want to click into, you want to go into Backup Current ROM and then you'll name the file. So if you want to say Stock Touch Wiz on with this date or whatever, I'm not going to do a backup because it's going to take forever. I already have a backup though that's going to manage. And you will see that June 30th is when I did this backup. Everything that I've had is going to be on this ROM right here, which is stock. Now what I did is I used the browser and I downloaded a Foxhound 0.8 and I'll be able to install it from install ROM from SD card. But not yet. Let's go into Titanium Backup and you'll see these are all my applications that I can back up. But back up your important games and applications so when you go to the next ROM you'll be able to exact this app or game into your next one instead of having to restart everything and inputting new stuff. You know, Titanium Backup does the job perfectly. So these two are must-have applications that you need to do before you do a ROM change. Like I said, I'm on a stock ROM. I have it really themed exactly how I want my next ROM to be. It's just that fact that having a new ROM is going to allow you to change a lot of different things here. Stuff that you're used to seeing will be ported to the next ROM, except it's going to be slimmer, faster, darker, and even better. Let's just jump into ROM Manager, and I want to do install ROM from SD card. Now, I have it installed in my download area, and you will see Foxhound Gear Engine 0.8 by snakes. There's a new version which is 0.9 and I heard that there's some things that they took away from 0.8. You won't notice the difference if you get to 0.9 but I installed 0.8 but there's one problem with this ROM is that there's an NFC payment force closed and that has I have no idea what that is but that's that's rare I barely get that otherwise everything's perfect and I love it so I'm gonna click on Foxhound using ROM manager you will see Foxhound gear engine you can add zips if you want to add other applications and as you see ROM manager also allows you to do a backup existing ROM so before it installs this one it would give me the chance if I didn't already back up the ROM so I want to wipe the data and cache which is gonna start me brand new so it's gonna be like if I just got my phone now here we see reboot and install I'm going to press OK. And this will be a long process. Now here you see the little blue light there meaning that it's working. And I haven't done a video in this kind of depth where I actually show you me doing the flashing. It's going to take a long time because it's actually a big file. Like I said, it's going to take a while. But this is where I want to show you. It brings you into this window which was completely brand new to me. It says you are about to flash foxhound by snakes it says 0 0.7 but it's actually 0 0.8 so don't worry but let's press next terms and service we want to agree to it basically saying it's not responsible for whatever you do to your phone which is true the little rundown of change log what happened to this rom and what's going to be changed and what you're going to be able to select i'm going to press next and then here it says do you want to wipe data partition i want to say wipe my data partition so i want that let's go next in this section, you'll be able to choose your launcher, Apex, Nova, or TouchWiz, which is the original launcher. I don't like the original, so I'm just going to, you know, pick between these. Let's just do Nova, because I always do Apex. Here we have stock MMS, which is the stock one that you're already seeing on your phone before the ROM. Or you can do the stock Nexus look 
messaging application. I actually like the stock Samsung version, so I'm gonna do that one. And we can see we got browsers here. We want to go into yes if you want to install the Samsung one. I don't like it, so I say no. AOSP is yes, do that one. Then we got the keyboard. I actually like the keyboard as well. AOSP is Google's keyboard. I want to say no, because you can download that anyways if you wanted it. Press next. And here we have kernels. So I never really experimented with kernels. A lot of you guys might know a lot more into that, but I kept it on Fox. And I want to push next. Themes installation. Since I love dark themes, I want to keep it on Foxhound Blacked, which is going to make a lot of applications black. So it's going to be able to save you batteries since it's not going to be lighting up your screen with all that white. But it might throw you off a little bit. I mean, choosing the stock one is going to make you look exactly like your stock one. So Foxhound is what's going to make it different. So I keep it on Foxhound and go next. Here we have performances. I have clicked yes on this for performance. This was on there already and fourth GPU rendering. I said yes, so I left it as that. Continue. Extra. You can boost your volume with beats. I'm gonna say yes. Do you want the stock Nexus type look? Or do you want the Samsung's version? And surprisingly again, Samsung has won me over with their gallery app. So I press next. And then here we see ready to install. You are now ready to begin installation. I want to press install. And there we have the little rundown of information that's going to be going through this phone. Now this will take a couple of minutes. I can see it being, I think it was like 10 to 15 minutes at most, I would say. I've done this already four times because I had to change things up and test it all. So it's worked every single time and I haven't had a problem. Foxhound, I've tested out other ones and Foxhound has been my favorite. So what I'm going to do now is going to, you know, let this go through its flashing. And I'm actually going to end this video and make this a part one. So I'm going to do a part two. You guys got to watch and click for that. And then this might be up before you get to see the part two, which is going to be, whoa, 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 whoa. Who said you can come out here? <laughs> Don't click anything. Also, make sure you have enough battery or have it plugged in. You don't want this ever dying while it's doing flashing. I've never had that problem, but that's just something that you don't even want to know about if, if it died during your flashing. So yes, this will be part one. And part two will be the whole entire ROM difference that you'll be able to see from my Nexus to the Galaxy S4. Since I'm here just to blabber around, even though it's not probably going to go in any of this, and that's about to turn off in three, two one now ooh that was pretty good timing okay so yeah I'm just waiting here you see it is go oh, perfect I'm gonna go ahead and press next here installation was successful and then let's go to finish and then it's gonna do this little last boot right there you see formatting cache gonna do is reboot <laughs> Let's hope this becomes my thumbnail. And this process here, my guy is gonna start running up. Watch, here he goes. What is that? Droid. McWay. Droid. McWay. Droid. McWay. Droid.